guys, it's Huff. I am back again with another comparison video. This is part two of my purples, as there will be quite a few of these because I have a lot of purples. Um, so today we're going to look at three trios and a group of five. The group of five I will start with, they are all pale, pale, pale purples. Um, so we have from Ultra 3, we have Lavender Fields, we have from Revlon's old scented perfume line, we have Gumdrop, from the newer Revlon perfumery line, we have Lavender Soap, from La Cura, which is from Audi, this is called Lilac. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, but that's the name of it, it's Lilac. And then also from Ulta 3, we have Lilac Bloom. This is like a mini that I got in the Christmas set. Technically, these two, actually this one might have been called Lavender. Um, yeah, it might have been called Lavender, and the reason I'm thinking that is because this one is actually a lot more pink than this one. Lilac is generally more blue than Lavender is. Um, yeah, so we will see, um, I've put these two together, the one that says Lilac and the one that says Lavender. I don't know if you can see that, but the Lavender one is slightly pink and the Lilac one is slightly blue. So if you're ever wondering what the difference is between those colour, lilac is blue, lavender is more pinky purple. Like one leans towards red, one leans towards blue in terms of being very pale purples. So education as well as now swatches. So <laughs> I will start with lavender fields. So it's quite pink. Next I will do the lavender from La Cura. Formula is not quite as good. Um, and it is, at the moment it looks lighter. We'll see. Um, I'll do the other Ulta one. And I can see straight away that it is a lot more blue toned. Then we'll do the old Revlon in Gumdrop. This is quite a sheer thinner formula. Doesn't pack quite as much pigment. They're probably all really hard to see. They are very light. And lavender soap. This was actually one of my first um, of the newer perfumery line. It's actually not my favourite. <laughs> the main difference with this one, which I didn't really notice in the bottle when I was looking at them, is it has a shimmer. All the rest of them do not. The Ultra 3 one is has quite a bit more pigment, the um, Lavender Fields one than the rest of them. But we will move on to another one, let those dry a bit, come back, do another coat before we make any judgement calls. So I have these three beautiful looking polishes here. I have this 
old, old L'Oreal Holographic Shine. It is not holographic in the least. <laughs> it, it has a blue shimmer thing going on in it. Uh, definitely not holographic. Uh, the label on it might be, but that's the only thing about this polish that's holographic. It is 805. I have this one from Nika K, which if I remember rightly is just called Purple. It literally does not have a name on it. Um, these Nika K bottles are quite cute and everything. The polish is not the best. <laughs> and I have this one from Kmart um, from the OXX brand. This was before they started giving them names. They've actually started giving their polishes names. Things like bright blue and light blue. Yeah, really, really creative names. Uh, but this has no name. It is just nail polish. So I will start with the uh, more known brand. Um, and I'm aware this is a super old L'Oreal and you might be able to get it on like eBay or Amazon but you are, they haven't sold this thing for like years and years and I can't even get the lid off right now so it kind of looks brown on the first coat which is so weird um, but it does have a very definite shift to it when you move it in the light but it is quite thin and then we have the Nika K which I have not swatched for a really long time wow um, that doesn't that looks so much more similar in the bottle <laughs> can't think of life on this watch wheel other than the shimmer being kind of similar and the Kmart branded one which looks way more like one that I swatched in the last video um, looks a lot more like I think it's Revlon's Decadent on the first swatch Um, the first coat of this one here is very similar to this one here. So we'll see what it does on the second coat. Next, grab a new swatch wheel. Okay, so next I'm going to do two, metal uh, two magnetics. And one that's not a magnetic, but kind of looks the same as my two magnetics. So I have the Sally Hansen Magnetic. This is polar purple. The Sally Hansen Magnetics are actually pretty good. I actually quite like them. Then I have this BYS. <laughs> oh, look, I got it on sale. Um, from their Chrome line. This is, thank God it's Friday. So it's not Friday today. Uh, <laughs> And lastly, we have this magnetic polish, which I'm not sure what that brand is supposed to be. I think I found it somewhere like the Reject Shop or something. Um, but it looks a lot like Polar Purple. So, um, we will start with the Sally Hansen. one coat of the Sally Hansen. And one coat of BYS's, thank God it's Friday. It has a lot more purple to it than the Sally Hansen appears to. Um, it's a lot lighter, um, not lighter, cooler than the Sally Hansen one. 
and the random, I don't know what brand that is, one. of dried up polish in it. Um, it's kind of like halfway in between. Um, none of them are really the same. They kind of look the same in the bottle, but they're like different. This one is much brush stroke, much more brush strokey though. So, we will see. Then, we have these three here. So, we have, from Essie, we have for the Twill of It. It's one of the first Essies I got. Then we have from Kylie, this is actually from the Trend Matters line. This one is Constellation. And it is a satin matte polish. And from Essence, from their Metals line, um, where's the name? There's the name. This one is called Chrome Paradise. And in the bottle, they all look very similar. They have the same kind of purpley grey um, with a greeny kind of shift to them. So this is the Essie one. This is one of the reasons I don't like Essie. I don't like the brushes apart from anything else. Um, so that is the first coat of for the Twillet. It, um, from my angle, it's very green. <laughs> In the camera, it looks purple. So this is Kylie's, I have very few, I think I've only got two or three of the Kylie Sinful Colours ones, I wasn't hugely impressed, but straight away they are very similar. The Sinful Colours one is just a little bit sheerer, just a little tiny bit sheerer, um, and the particles, like the glitter particles are slightly bigger. But colour-wise, they are the same. And the Essie, oh, sorry, Essence Chrome Paradise. is probably the sheerest one of the lot on the first coat. But the colour appears to be very, very similar. And lastly, I'm actually going to compare three OPIs. I have reasons for this. Okay, so this one here is a textured polish of Liquid Sands. This one is Vespa. And I was watching um, Yuki Sano. She's going through her um, all of her polishes and she swatched Vespa while she was doing her liquid sands and she said that she wasn't keeping it because she preferred Lincoln Park um, at midnight I think it was or after dark one of those so I happen to have Lincoln Park at midnight which is the shimmery slightly lighter version I also have Lincoln Park after dark in a mini which is the darker not shimmery version um, I don't know which one I prefer at this stage. Um, I quite like textured polishes and I like shimmer. Um, this one just looks black. But I thought I would show you all three of them next to each other. So I will start with Lincoln Park After Dark. As I said, I only have a mini of it. The minis have the most annoying brush in the world from OPR. Now, on the first coat, you can see that it is, in fact, purple. It 
doesn't necessarily look like that after the second coat. So this one is Lincoln Park at midnight. So it is virtually exactly the same colour on the first watch, except for the fact that it has a very slight, slight shimmer. And it's not even that impressive of a shimmer. The slight difference in application is really down to the brush more than anything else. The, I mean, the size difference in these brushes is ridiculous. There's your mini. That's full size. They're just the length of the handle and everything makes a massive difference with these. Like, totally crazy. And this one is Vespa. Vespa is kind of a bit newer to my collection. See, this is the thing. I didn't think they looked that similar. And they don't. They're like a completely different kind of purple. Um, in the bottle, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. Because Vespa is very much a blue-based purple, whereas Lincoln Park After Dark and Lincoln Park at Midnight are both berry-toned purples. But I thought it would be interesting to see them all together. So we will go back to our first swatch wheel and go back over these pale pale purples jump from super dark to really really light so we have lavender fields from ultra 3 which is a brand that you can get in australia but pretty sure we can't get it anywhere else and i really like the formula on ultra 3 polishes they are really really nice and you can get them online from ultra 3 sometimes for like a dollar 79 which is a great price for 13 mils of polish so it is quite pink <laughs> it's um, pretty pink there then we have lavender from Le Cure or it might be lilac I really can't remember looking at it now it's probably more likely that it was actually lilac and I just can't remember anything I think I said lilac first Um, I will admit these are not my favourite. <laughs> um, I have two of these and I wasn't like super happy with either of them. Um, it's clearly more, well, might not be clear to you, but it's clear to me. Uh, the Le Cure one has clearly got more blue in it than Lavender Fields has. And then we have Lilac Bloom, which is kind of more grey, like a greyed out um, purple. So that is Lilac Bloom. It makes the Liqueur one look a lot more pink, even though next to the Lavender Fields from Ultra 3, it looks a lot more blue. And the Lilac Bloom from Ultra 3 is a lot more greyed out and a lot more blue toned and a lot cooler than either of these two. So whilst they're all light, they are not very similar at all. Then we have Gumdrop from Revlon which is one of those ones that is so sheer I'm putting like a really thick coat on that it's really hard to see the colour but it is very slightly pink toned um, it's, a, it's more pink than um, Lilac Bloom is um, but it's also quite muted it's like muted in the same kind of way that Lilac Bloom is. It's just this is the warm version. This is the lavender version of that lilac, I guess. And lastly, we have Lavender Soap, which 
has a shimmer unlike the rest of them and almost looks white in comparison to the rest of them. Um, it really isn't that much different from the colour of the swatch wheel. There is a lot of difference, but not a huge amount. It is a lot lighter than the rest of them. Much, much lighter than the rest of them. Um, it's got a lot more white in it. So, while sort of in the bottle, they all look sort of similar. None of them are the same. They're all very, very different polishes. Um, personally, I would go for the two Ultra 3 ones, just because I quite like that brand. I don't really like either of these Revlon ones a huge amount. They have their uses, but they're not. They're certainly not my favourites. The Lacura one is more performance-based. Um, it chipped really easily. And that was on acrylics, and normally polishes don't chip very easily on acrylics unless they're not very good formula. So, and I can see, like, the pigment particles in that, almost. It's really weird, like, I don't think you'll be able to see. It's got this weird textural kind of thing in it. Very strange. Anyway, let us move on. So we have 805 from L'Oreal's old holographic shine line, which as I said is not holographic in the least. It is like the least holographic polish ever. Um, you can tell it's getting a bit old. It's not applying as nicely as... It is a little thin, a little sheer. Um, it's kind of like a brown purple, if that makes any sense. I mean, I've clearly used quite a bit of this polish. It's not like I don't like it or anything, it's just... Yeah, it's, um, brown. <laughs> it's like a brownie purple. Uh, Nika K's purple that has, like, no name. Wow. Um, yeah. In the bottle they kind of look similar. Uh, on the nail, not even close. Just not even close. <laughs> like, they really did look kind of similar in the bottom. And the one from uh, OXX from Kmart. That has no name. That's actually really, really pretty. That is very similar to Decadent. Uh, not as dark as Decadent is. Maybe a bit closer to Wonder Violet, which is the one that I've got held directly above it. Lighter versions of these ones here. Slightly lighter version. But in a similar kind of vein. Which is probably why I like it. Um, yeah, but none of those three, although in the bottle they look kind of similar, they're all very, very different. So, um, ow, itchy ear. So, next we have our three, um, magnetic ones. So, we have this one. From Sally Hansen, which is called Polar Purple. And I'll put on nice thick gold. And just for shits and giggles. I'll try not to like mess up the polish. Gotta be super careful doing this, especially if you're not watching from the right angle, which I am not. Um, you can see a little bit of its little magnetic-y thing. You've actually got to get really close, and the best way to do it is to hold it like this. While, and get as close as you can while it's still, like, damp. Um, but it's already started to dry, so... So that is the Sally Hansen's Polar Purple. It does actually work really well when you do it properly, um, which I really kind of didn't do. 
being honest. Um, the Thank God It's Friday from BYS. Super pretty colour. Probably my preferred one of these, these last two. Um, but not the same. <laughs> not the same at all. And this random purple magnetic, which I don't know what the brand is. I don't know how well it's magnet works. I do not actually remember. Yeah. Sorry, you can't see anything because my hand's in the way. You can see where I moved the magnet over the top of it. So it clearly works as a magnetic polish. Um, again, the colours, the, these three are not the same colour. Um, the, even though the BYS one is labelled as a chrome, it is actually the least brush strokey of the three. Um, so that's, that's an interesting thing to note. Um, but they're not, they're not the same colour, they're all different. There's sort of similarities, but they're all, yeah, completely different purples. So, we're on to Essie's for the twill of it. Uh, you can see how different the Sinful Colours one looks as it dries down. Second coat of for the twill of it, which, although it's kind of purple, looks very green to me from here. <laughs> It's like very, very green. The Kylie Constellation. They are so similar in colour. It's just the particle size that is different and the finish. But if you put um, a top coat on the Kylie one, it would just look the same. Except for the fact that the particles are bigger. Colour wise they are identical. Same shift, same base. Um, yeah, it just comes down to whether you like the bigger particles in the Kylie one or the more smooth SE one. Price wise the uh, Sinful Colours one is the one to go for. And the Essence Chrome Paradise probably would need to do three coats of it to build it up, um, but it's exactly the same colour. It's kind of uh, particle size wise, it is probably about halfway in between the SE for the twill of it and Constellation from. Sinful colours, so it comes down to price, avail availability, um, and what your preference is. The Kylie one, pretty sure you can still get hold of. The Essence one, uh, the Essie one, I'm pretty certain you can still get. Not sure about the Essence one because I got it on sale. But they are all exactly the same colour. It's just particle size that's different. And of course this one dries down to a sort of semi-matte finish. Um, but again, whack a top coat on it and it will be... Sorry, my thumb is like sparkling on you. Um, yeah, whack a top coat on the Sinful Colours if you don't like the matte kind of finish. But yeah, those three. Uh, exactly the same colour. And finally, back to Lincoln Park After Dark. Second coat. Um, let's drop a tiny little brush. I mean, seriously, I love minis. I love miniature everything, but brushes piss me off something so Lincoln Park after dark you can see why people say it looks black because it looks black 
Lincoln Park at midnight. Also pretty much looks black except for the fact that it has a shimmer. Um, which is the only reason you can tell that it's actually purple is because it has a shimmer to it. They are actually really ridiculously similar in colour. Like if you haven't seen them next to each other you probably wouldn't realise that really the only difference, the only reason that Lincoln Park after, at midnight looks more purple on the nail is because it has shimmer in it so it catches the light differently. And if you put them like that where they have no light hitting them, they look the same. Because they are basically exactly the same polish, just one has a shimmer and the other one doesn't and that makes all the difference. And lastly we have Vespa which is very textured, if you didn't know liquid sands are super textured polishes. The base, I think I remember when I first watched this, I was actually disappointed that the base doesn't have more pigmentation to it. Um, you know, with another coat it looks a bit more like the others, but it is a different type of purple. It's like a royal purple, these are more berry toned. Um, Vespa is a brighter kind of royal purple. Uh, Lincoln, the Lincoln Park ones are more berry toned, so they're a different, completely different type of purple. Um, yeah, in a dark room, you would have difficulty probably telling. Um, of the three of them, my personal preference, uh, color-wise, would be Vespa, except for the fact that it doesn't have that much, like the base. I, I'm not a huge fan of a jelly base. I have to admit. Um, so it's not my favourite in those terms, but um, yeah, Lincoln Park at midnight would be my preferred one of these three, just because it's got shimmer in it, basically. So that is it for this video, this was part two of my purples. If you want to see more of my stuff, more of my comparisons, then click the subscribe button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I will see you in my next video. See ya!